Hello there everybody, Silent Witcher here with a new World of Warcraft video for you. Um, this one's going to be talking about how I use the auction house and a lot of my friends are curious how I do the auction house. Um, so hopefully this is helpful to some of you out there. But basically, um, there's an add-on uh, which I'll display on the screen that you'll get from the curse client slash twitch client um, called Auctioneer. And that powers the majority of what I do. Now, if I open up my bag here, if I hover over an item like this coarse leather, you'll see some things like market price, uh, 48 hour deposit, stuff like that. If you hold shift, it gives you additional information. Okay, so this is all powered by auctioneer. Now this information is out of date. This information was taken uh, last late last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the auction house. I'm going to click on the auctioneer doesn't matter which one come up here to this window it'll say click here to do a fast get all scan of the items on the auction house I'm gonna do that it's gonna warn you if you don't have a very good connection stuff like that uh, you might lose connection and it might boot you off the server I'm on a fiber connection so I'll be okay so I'll start this process it doesn't take very long now the process will determine or how long it'll take is determined by how much stuff is on your auction house so keep that in mind plus your internet speed of course so it's going to go through here it's going to load all the stuff that's currently on the auction house in your uh, in your server for your faction and then it's going to uh, do a couple of scans and kind of compile the data into a usable format okay so see the main main scan is complete it took 31 seconds <coughs> it took uh, or it scanned 34,000 basically 35,000 items on the auction house. Now it's going through and processing that data. So once that's complete, uh, we'll go ahead and re-review uh, our coarse leather, for example, and see if the price is any different, which it probably is. But, uh, okay. Don't know if you heard that sound, but that means the scan and everything is complete. Now this information is changed. And once again, if I hold shift, it gives us additional information. So that's cool, right? Now, something else it will do is give you, uh, you know, and I don't remember if this is built into WoW or not, so bear with me, but uh, this PCT it basically tells you if they're ripping you off or not. Um, let's see if I could find an item like this one. That's, they're asking too much, basically. Um, but let's go ahead and search for coarse leather here. Now, a couple other coarse leather things will show up, but see, I have 78. This is a stack of 200. These are technically overpriced for what they are. Um, but basically what I'm showing you is this plugin, or not plugin, <laughs> this add-on gives you a bunch of helpful information for making things on the auction house. And then there's an appraiser and all this other stuff. Um, but this can give you a general idea on how much to sell your items for. So for example, 99% of the time, I go off of what this panel says. So market price for 78 of them is about 642 gold at this current time. So usually I'll do exactly that or I'll be a little bit less than that. So if I wanted to sell this, I would sell them for probably 620 gold or something like that. And nine times out of 10, they'll sell. Now, if you look at this for 93 of these, uh, these uh, bloodstained bones, they're worth a pretty penny, right? They're worth about 4,000 gold. So I would, I would actually stick to that number. I'd probably take off 100 of that, so 4,000 gold flat, and sell those as is. And those will most likely sell. But I use them for my, uh, for my profession, so I won't be doing that. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you in some way and it'll teach you a little bit about the auction house. And uh, you know, all will be good there. It looks, let's see. I sold a 76 stack of uh, meaty haunch. Got 650 gold. Not bad. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. My character needs to stop turning around. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Hey there, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you click on the little bell and turn on notifications so that way you don't miss any of our videos.